We check out the Summer Literary Seminar here at Concordia. Terence tries to get opinions on what people think of the Olympic Stadium's rooftop here in Montreal. And we have a look at the World Partnership Walk on today's episode of CUTV News. I'm Mimi. Welcome to today's episode of CUTV News. We covered the World Partnership Walk, but first, let's take a look at the Summer Literary Seminar that happened here at Concordia. A bunch of poets and authors internationally known came here for a period of about a week to talk about their poetry and have discussions. It's June 13th, man, 2010, uh, the very first Summer Literary Seminar is Montreal. We've always done these things in strangely chaotic places, St. Petersburg, Russia, Vilnius, Lithuania, and uh, and Lamu and, and Nairobi, Kenya. And we're based here, so we've always gone away during the summer and during December to run these programs. And finally, we wanted to come home. Tonight, uh, we always have, you know, one heck of an opening reception. It's a great time. People have come in from different parts of the world. Uh, they're getting to know their profs, their instructors, the local writers in an informal setting uh, before they sit down. Uh, for the next two weeks and they workshop a lot of writing in a very intense uh, and very busy two-week seminar. And uh, we're going to have a great uh, two weeks of uh, these people getting to know uh, Montreal and Montreal literature and uh, the rest of us getting to know them and their writing. We're going to get to the World Partnership Walk in just a second, but first let's take a look at how Terence attempted to get people's opinion on the rooftop of the Olympic Stadium here in Montreal. Today John grabbing some opinions about the Olympic Stadium. Yeah, I felt some people cared about it, some people didn't, that's for sure. Hello, madam, how are you today? No, you, don't, you don't feel like talking today? Uh, okay. Right. Okay, yeah. see ya. Nice knowing you. How does it make you feel about the Olympic Stadium? You're going to put a big roof on it. 300 million bucks. For real? That's too much money. Too much money. Thank you for your time. How are you, Sabah? Okay. You okay? Uh, they're supposed to be putting a, a permanent roof on the Olympic Stadium for $300 million. How's that make you feel? Being <laughs> <laughs> You know it, eh? So you don't think that money can go somewhere else better? Maybe a... Possibly, but I don't really know how much these things cost. So when you say $300 million, it sounds like a lot to me. But for like a project that size, maybe it's a good deal. Who knows? You got some opinions. Some of them are cool. Some of them are not cool. To summarize the whole thing, uh, let's put it this way. Some people are against it just because the government's doing it. Some people think it's a great idea. Some people have no opinion whatsoever. Lastly, a couple of weeks ago, we covered the World Partnership Walk, which is a walk that happens in Montreal every year in order to fight global poverty. Let's take a look at what reporters saw. My name is uh, Rahmat. And why do you walk? Um, why do I walk is actually the reason to uh, to bring down the global poverty, you know, like uh, whatever is happening right now around the world. How did you originally find, find out about the Aga Khan Foundation and this event? I've been I've been walking for uh, 14 years with the AKFC, so I'm I'm also actually a volunteer. I know that they're um, the 100% of the fund goes to the projects, uh, helping those uh, people. You know, uh, the ones uh, the kids do, do not have nothing to eat. You know, school with their school and everything. Yeah. <laughs> For someone that's not here, what would you tell them to convince them to walk next year? Or? Uh, I would tell them to uh, not stay at home and just, you know, in front of the TV, watch, watch what we do. And maybe, you know, uh, take action, come and join us, you know, and help, help the others. Everybody who is doing the 5 kilometer walk, though, is now doing the 2.5 kilometer walk. We're going to let you off the hook because it is raining. There's a lot of people who are poor and uh, in other countries who do not have access to education, food and stuff. So uh, because we are uh, well well off here, so you know, why not go and help those people?
That's it for this week's episode of CUTV News. I'm Mimi. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.